Welcome back my friends. Happy Saturday and thanks for stopping by. So you say, Maddie, I thought you were putting solar on your roof. I don't see any solar. That's because you can barely see it. Let me see if I can give you a better shot of it. Hey, we got solar on the roof. Look how thin these things are. So um, I, I'm going to be your test guinea pig on this. These are, are kind of a new thing on the market. They're called shingle panels. If you look closely at it, you see no white lines, right? And it looks like tiny little shingles all throughout here. And uh, the, the thing is, they're supposed to capture the sun better when it's on the horizon in the early morning in the evening. And it's supposed to be a 15% increase from the typical flat panels. So these come from EcoWorthy. They've been around a long time and uh, they ship quickly and I've already had one question I had to ask them and they responded quickly and this uh, I took the advice from Van Life Rocks on industrial velcro and I also found another video from a guy named Kopec showing where he had to replace one of his panels that he had mounted with industrial velcro and he said how this the strength of this is incredible let me get up on this side he said don't put tape around the edges because it's it causes problems he said just put the velcro because he had to pull one of his panels up and replace it after it went bad after uh, several years and he actually had to get a spoon to put under between the velcro to pry it up he said because you couldn't pull it up by hand and he said the tape actually traps water under there he said don't put tape around it even though you think you're making it more secure you're really not you're causing problems so uh, I've just put the wiring here in these little uh, velcro straps around it to bundle it up and here's the uh, coupler branches here so there's a hundred watt this one's a hundred watt and this one on the cargo box is 100 watts, so I got 300 out here. No holes drilled. The wire comes nicely right through here. There's a nice rubber gasket around the door. It doesn't pinch it. And then the wiring, I've got it fastened, hidden behind this wall here. And my controllers are going to be right behind this wall here. So no tape around the edges. I don't want to trap water in there. Go back up from this side one more time. So you can see the Velcro is mounted all the way down this edge and on the ridges, not in the valleys. There's nothing in the valleys, only on the ridges because you want water and air to flow freely out of there. And we had a downpour last night and the water just flows right up underneath it and uh, I, I'm just really shocked how strong this stuff is if I can uh, get four years out of it like Van Life Rocks did I'll be very happy alright guys let me give you one more shot from the other side be right back Okay, so you can't see the panels from down, but you can see the wiring bundled up right there. That's the only thing you can see. So, uh, I think this is going to solve all the problems. Uh, the controller seems to be a really good one. It tells you a lot of different information. It tells you the amps you're bringing in, the voltage at the panel, the voltage on the batteries, all that good stuff. And the last time I checked, I was capturing 9 amps out of two 100 watt panels. And the most you're going to be able to get is 10. So I think if uh, these clouds go away that are over here. Oh, I see my camera's glitching again. Alright guys, let's wrap it up. Take care, be well, smash the bell.